This is freaking delicious. <laughs> oh, hey, what it do? Happy holidays, beer cake bacon, this beautiful people, your girl poet. Tis the season to have friends over, whether they're invited or not, but what are you serving them? I figured I needed to call a friend, Nick Hasbury of Monza, right in Manassas. Can't miss them because, well, they're one of the best spots in town. I needed to know how to prepare for this holiday party that I need to do. Fireside Sangria. Fireside Sangria is definitely a good party drink. Yay, you know, everyone's going to gonna come through. Maybe get a little too drunk, but you know, we got Uber, we got Lyft. Yay! We're responsibly, we're going to have some fun. And we also got some food to go with it, too. <laughs> He's so young to be so serious, <laughs> but I like it. Don't drink and drive during the holiday season. So. Tell me, what are we mixing up here? What do I need to get this party started? All right. So already in the cup, we got some cubed apples, we got some cranberries. So then, okay. all right, a just a little bit more, just a little yeah. bit. And, and then, then we got our deep eddy cranberry vodka. That's gonna be distilled out of Austin, Texas. They make cranberry vodka. Oh yeah. Oh, and it's gluten free. Cha ching. Gluten -free. No need for those extra calories. So we're gonna make this one a little strong. Oh, I'm not mad at that at all. I don't know how to count. Okay. So what else can we add? So then we're also gonna have Cointreau orange liqueur. Do I have to have an orange liqueur? Orange liqueur, uh, so you can use Cointreau, you can use uh, any cheap triple sec. It really doesn't matter, because sangria, we're mostly gonna be putting wine in there. Okay, so, see, I wanted to make sure that you knew about that part. But you gotta add a little bit of the flavor. All so right. Then we're gonna ice it up. Now bartenders, make sure you don't over ice my drink. Because <laughs> I like my liquor kind. Right, then we'll stop right there, we'll stop right there then. <laughs> and then we got the Riesling, this is gonna be a German uh, white wine. Can I use any kind of wine for my sangria or? Yeah, it all depends on personal preference. Uh, if you want a little bit sweeter, definitely a Riesling or a Moscato. But uh, traditionally, uh, sangria is gonna be red wine, fruit, brandy, but ah. really you can do it however you want. I knew you were more than a handsome face. What else I, I need know. to do? So then, we're gonna stop right there for a moment. We're gonna give this a little shake. See, I'll let the professionals handle that. <laughs> be all over the table. Get some nice little foam right there. Gonna pour that back in the cup. Ooh, it's pretty. Ooh. And then it's topped off with club soda, I know. Why am I topping it off with club soda? You cutting my liquor? No, uh, you know, we can add a little bit more when you like. And then this? We're just gonna put a little rosemary sprig on there. Is it gonna good, change uh, my drink taste? Really just gives it the aromatic. So when you go in there with the straw, you know, get that good little smell, good sniffs. Let me taste this one Free too. sniffs all day, free sniffs. Hmm. What do you think? I love it, but what would I pair with this though? So. I eat hot chips with everything. Hot chips, Cheetos, uh, we got Bugles. Oh, I like that. But let's say I don't want to do it at my house and we want to move the party to mm. Monza. What are you serving me with this? So right over at Monza and Carmelo's, we actually got some of the dishes right over Ooh. here. So right to left, we got the beef Wellingtons. Mm. Uh, those always come out piping hot mm. in a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah, you do. Okay. Out. definitely delicious. So then we got the homemade ravioli. That's I'm not going to pick it up with my fingers because I'm on camera, <laughs> but I really would if I was at home. Because that's what good. I do. Finger looking good. We got the homemade ravioli mm. stuffed with rabbit. So, the rabbits are actually uh, some of the local ones. Local rabbit? Haha, <laughs> you didn't even know you could get rabbit ravioli in the DMV, did you? Mm -hmm. But you know now. <laughs> what else we got? So we got some oysters Rockefeller. We're gonna top those off with lemons. Mm. Uh, got cocktail sauce as well. Didn't bring it with me, but- It's okay, you still cute. Our candy, we'll take that. And last but not least? And then we got the salmon cakes. See? So, fresh caught Atlantic salmon, definitely good. Mm. Made in house every day. So this is what I keep telling you. Every day is a day to learn something absolutely brand new. You didn't know how to make sangria. We now know how. We don't want to do it at home. You now know where to go. So you can get it served to you at your table. This is what we do. This is what PGC TV is all about. It's about bringing the DMV to you. For those who want more info on you and where they can get this delicious cocktail, this scrumptiousness, where should we go? Uh, right in the heart of Old Town Manassas. It's going to be Monza and Carmelo's. We also have a website, carmelos.com and eatmonza.com. Mm. Seven days a week. We'll Cheers. Be Cheers. Happy holidays. Boom. I didn't even save a cocktail for him.